Now we want to take a look at a simulation of a gas. A gas inside of a container where we can measure the pressure, where we can measure the temperature, and we can control the volume. First what we're going to do is pump some air molecules, or in this case some gas molecules, which are light. We're going to use the light version. And here we have a pump. So we grab the handle and we pump some gas molecules into our container. You'll notice that the pressure is increasing. This is because the gases, which are in constant random motion, are colliding with the walls of the container, which is what we use to gauge pressure. You'll also notice that there's a temperature gauge here, a thermometer. Right now it's reading 300 Kelvin. We can adjust the, the uh, motion of the molecules by controlling the number of molecules and controlling the volume. We can control the number of molecules by either putting in more or by releasing some of them. Notice the pressure drops as we release the molecules. We can change the volume. Notice that when I decrease the volume, the, the molecules now hit the walls of the container more frequently and the pressure goes up. If I increase the volume, now the molecules strike the walls of the container less often and the pressure drops. So we can adjust volume, we can adjust the number of molecules, and both of those have an effect on the pressure of the gas and the temperature of the gas. Okay, so let's try a couple little experiments here. What we're going to do is to increase the temperature of the gas molecules in the container. So we're going to add some heat. Notice the temperature goes up. Notice the gas molecules are moving more rapidly. And they hit the walls of the container more frequently. And so the pressure increases. If we remove some heat by using some ice, notice the molecules are slowing down the temperature has fallen and the pressure is decreasing. So we can alter the temperature which will have an effect on the pressure. We can alter the volume which has an effect on both the temperature and the pressure and we can alter the number of molecules which affects the pressure and the temperature. So using this simulation we can look at the combined gas law where we can alter pressure, volume, and temperature or by coming under here and looking at the constant parameter we can set volume constant or temperature constant or the pressure constant and therefore we can look at Boyle's law, Charles's law, and Amonton's law. So what you should do now is to, is to find this on their website it's on the chapter on gases and you too can can vary the number of gas molecules you can vary the volume you can change the temperature and you can simulate a number of experiments go to it